KNN PF5000 fuel filter right here. This is a upgrade or premium fuel filter, as it says right there, to the AC Delco TP1015. In a prior video, I took apart an AC Delco fuel filter as well as an aftermarket one, and I did some comparisons. If you haven't seen that, I highly suggest you take a look at that. But in this video, we're gonna take the TP1015 right here, cut away, we're gonna cut this one away. You can already see some differences in there. Now, when I first got this fuel filter, I took a look at it and I'm like, I really like that media. I think it looks really nice. But I find it very interesting how this cap and this cap, so the top and bottom cap, take up a lot of the filter media. So I wonder how much filter media it really has. And then the other question that I have is that there's real no detail on the box at all as far as what makes it a premium fuel filter. And I couldn't find anything online. Now I do know the factory one is a five micron. This one I don't know. So I reached out to K&N and I sent them an email and they got back to me super quick. However, here's what it says. We don't have a, the micron rating test information about our fuel filters is not available. However, each K&N fil fuel filter is designed to meet or surpass the factory requirements of the vehicle engine manufacturer. So pretty vague, I got no information. So this is a premium fuel filter, but we can't tell you why it's a premium fuel filter, but it is. So what we're gonna go ahead and do on this video is I'm gonna cut this filter up, kind of like I did right here. We're gonna compare the filter media. This is AC Delco TP1015 right there. Now, if you're new to the channel, I highly suggest you check out this video right here. This is all about all of the modifications that you can do to a 3.0 Duramax diesel as of this time right now, and my opinion on what they do as I've tested everything. But let's get back into the fuel filter. I wanna make a note that, uh, yes, I do include an Amazon affiliate link for the TP1015 down in the description. And if you use that and you get a fuel filter, now this one came from Amazon, you can tell because the box is crushed, but they sometimes just come in just a bag or they come in this crushed box as you see here. But here's the part numbers on there. But I wanna point out one thing is if you get one, just take a look at it. It's OEM or AC Delco if it's made in Czech Republic. Also comes with O-rings. We'll get into that a little bit more in detail, but let's go into the k and PF5000 made in Taiwan. And it does come with O-rings on it as well. We're gonna check the water separator. That's good and tight on there. Now I checked that because on the aftermarket one prior video, it was extremely loose, falling apart. Now let's go ahead and get some weights. AC Delco weight. This one comes at a, in at 162 grams. K&N, 151 grams. Let's go ahead and count the pleats. Here's my starter right there. 70 pleats in total here. AC Delco pleats come in at 85. Now looking at the media itself, nice strong material on the TP1015 AC Delco right here. You can see nice tight pleats. You can see the seam right there. Let's take a close up look at the pleats on the K&N. Nice shiny material. We've got, uh, they're fairly even. Then they get a little tight. It's a good looking media. Looks like there's a lot going on. We're gonna cut this out and take a closer look at it in just a moment. But it looks like the pleats go nice and deep down in there. Whereas this one, uh, it's gonna be close. The cellulose media. Let's see how hard it is to get the O-ring off of there. Pretty easy to get the O-ring off of there. Fairly easy to get the O-ring off of there. And the reason why I want to look into that is because you don't want this rolling up when you go to install it. So what I have is, this is an aftermarket aluminum fuel filter housing. It's just a lower cap. It's just a replacement for the factory one. The factory one's plastic. Now, what you want to do is lubricate the O-ring if you're doing a fuel filter service. You want to lubricate this O-ring and then you have to push this in there. And that actually went in there without any lubrication at all. So it does fit fairly snug. It's pretty good. I trust that. I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and squeeze this one on there. That one took a little bit more effort to get on. It takes a little bit more effort to get off. There we go. That's the AC Delco one now. This is just a, a basic IFJF aluminum housing. Now I will put this on my truck whenever I go to do a fuel filter. Uh, since we're talking about tools, I also wanna mention the click wrench. 
Now what this is, is the factory fuel cap is a 36 millimeter as well as this one right here. So if you're doing a fuel filter service on your own truck, you could just get one of these cheap sockets and that's going to allow you to loosen and tighten. But then you need to tighten it to 18 foot pounds, which that's where this click wrench comes in handy because it will actually click whenever it hits that. So you do not over torque. Uh, now this one's a nice special one. They made this one for me with my nice demon logo on there. But they also, this is the one that you would get. It's made in USA, can't beat that. It's the 18 foot pounds. Highly suggest you pick one of those up to not mess it up. Since I have this cap out, we're gonna go ahead and just open up this package. All right, so this is the O-ring that goes on the fuel filter cap. You wanna make sure that it goes on completely in the groove, the proper groove, the lower groove right there, and then lubricate this. And when you screw it up in there, you want to make sure that everything sits flush. So that is a nice O-ring right there. It feels like a high quality O-ring. I trust that O-ring. I think it's nice. This other O-ring is going to go on your water and fuel sensor. And you make sure that you do swap this out. And here's a little clip of where that goes and how to just remove it. Just roll it off and roll it back on. We're going to leave those out because we're going to junk this fuel filter right here. That o-ring came right out no problem they seem like nice o-rings now i'm going to go ahead and cut this media off here and we're going to compare just kidding what i'm going to do first is i'm going to measure because like i pointed out look at the difference in the media the way that that is right there all right we're going to go ahead and zero this out let's take our K&N measurement right here all right so we got a measurement of 75.94 and we're just going to go on this pleat right here 85.29 right there so big difference in the size now what i'm going to do is cut this out and we're going to take a closer look and we'll measure these all right here we go we got the k n is cut apart it was a little bit of a struggle because it has a metal seam right there which is uh quite nice so we're going to try to preserve that so we can get a full measurement out of this now we can see the filter media is actually two parts and I couldn't tell you what the two parts are aside from cellulose media let's go ahead and take some measurements all right we are coming in at 0.94 millimeters that was for the K&N now what we've got is 1.33 1.31 or the AC Delco. So the AC Delco is actually sitting thicker than the K&N media. And now let's go ahead and split the seam right here. And we'll be able to get a full running length of that. And I'll bring that to you in just a second, but here's a close up of the media itself. Now on the water separator portion of it, still, like I said, nice and tight inside. And now the inner media is actually quite thin. I expected thicker because the factory or AC Delco is quite thick in comparison to that. And you can see the difference. This is the AC Delco. This is the K&N PF 5000. So the inside, you can see the, the casing, just a massive amount of mass used right there. But let's go ahead and string these out and see how long this is PF 5000 k and fuel filter came in at 87 and one eighth of an inch. Whereas the AC Delco TP 1015 came in at 96 inches on a prior test. So now that we've seen the insides of the fuel filter, I'll let you make your own decision on which route you want to go with. But the k and comes in around $50 when the AC Delco, if you use the link down in the description, it's going to be around $26 currently, but I've seen them as low as $22 on sale. So keep an eye out for that. I try to let everybody know when these things go on sale. Um, and then a big question that I get asked a lot is what kind of fuel additive do you use? Now I rarely use a fuel additive, but if I remember to use a fuel additive, it's typically a hotshot secret uh, EDT fuel additive on there. And I run that every once in a while. It just keeps lubricity up since they are current fuel does not have the lubricity. If you enjoyed this video, I suggest you look at the others because I have oil filter cutaways, more fuel filter cutaways, and I also review all 
aftermarket performance products 